Hey, how's it going, everybody? Finally got a pickups video for you guys. It's been really abysmal lately. Now it's too damn cold to get out running around too much. So we're having our 50 degree and 40 degree weather. So I'm staying the hell out of that, man. That's one thing. I'm not getting sick again like I did last year. That was too damn much where it just messed me up bad. Otherwise, did make it over to Goodwill not too long ago and found a piece of shit for Christmas. And he's in good shape. And speaking of this little shit for you South Park fans out there, this guy's worth a little bit, man. Much more than what I paid. And so I think I paid like 30 cents for him. It was the only thing I found that day, so I had to go home with something. Might as well be a piece of shit from Goodwill. Anyways, uh, it seems to go for about $15 and up. And uh, this isn't it, but there is one that talks. So I'm figuring that one's probably going to be worth more, and I'm pretty sure it looks identical to this one that doesn't talk. As there was quite a few different variations, I had a hard time finding that exact one that's from Comedy Central South Park. But cool. <laughs> Gonna find some shit at Goodwill. At least it's valuable shit. Okay. Now on to the one video game that I found. Got this from my buddy John at Video Game World. It's one I didn't have on the Genesis. Got Taz and Escape from Mars. Boxed but incomplete. It's a decent looking car, just no instruction manual. But five bucks, so cool enough. Okay. Now, speaking of Christmas again, something very cool that my sister, that happens to be Kung Fu Master and Tai Chi Master, got me. <laughs> How many people can say, man, that they get martial arts items Christmas time and birthday from their big sister so this is definitely martial arts related and I've got my pouch full of other ones here so I can show you the one that I've had since the 80s that happens to be opposite of this one on the type of steel they used so anyways I'll show you this one first and, uh, this one, the tips are sharp, but it's not sharp throughout, as they gave you a choice back in the day. Anyways, this is made by Valor, out of surgical steel, handmade. It says Nagoro Ninja, or Black Ninja, and has Japanese symbol on each tip. Nice old handmade throwing star. There to prove that it's old. <laughs> it's, uh, pretty sure Valor is not around anymore, but they made good stuff back in the day. Now for the cool thing that my sister got me, or something that she had. It's uh, say she's kung fu tai chi master. Her and her best friend Tony Horton they ran to school together. Master Tony passed away not long ago from cancer. She tried taking over the school for a while, bought it and. <laughs> Had all of his stuff with it, and it was just more than she could handle. One of those things to where you got to have more than one job to live in California. And between everything else she was doing, it was just stressing her out more than it was worth. But she still has a lot of his old stuff, so this might have been Master Tony's or something that they sold in the school a very long time ago. Hence, they've been illegal for quite a while in California. Hence, I'm guessing this might have been Master Tony's as he collected this kind of stuff. What's cool, this one, it's not painted black. It's more like gum, gun blue black. Steel's just been blackened, but it's a uh, carbon steel instead of surgical. Otherwise, same thing. It's really cool. And it was in its original package, never used. And this one is friggin' sharp. That's why I'm holding it like this. It is sharp. 
Yeah, it's damn near got a razor's edge all around, and the tips are all needle point sharp. I'm hoping if it's something that they did sell in their store at the uh, Kung Fu Studio, that maybe she's got more of them. Because these old ones by Valor are, are they're not insanely valuable, but they are kind of scarce. I was trying to find one for sale online, and I couldn't, man. All I could find was the new-made ones, where it's just all done on a machine. That's what they've taken away. You can still find this type of throwing star, an exact copy of it, but not totally exact, as it's not going to be all hand-ground like these. That's where it's taken away. They do it all on a machine now. Okay. Now on to the Iron Maiden stuff. I'm pretty sure I never showed this... When I made it on uh, YouTube here, this, uh, this goes back to 2002, the last time I took a ceramics class or just sculpture. And uh, let's say I was surrounded by little old lady Christians, and this was the only way to keep them away from me. <laughs> so I could have my own little space far away from them, because they drove me fucking crazy. And also to show that I'm a fan of Maiden. And this I did in Raku. That's why it's got that odd coloring around it. That's what the Raku does. It's where you take it out of the Raku kiln and you throw it in like shredded paper or straw or whatever and it gives this crazy pattern sometimes. You don't get all that cool discoloration. Otherwise, if somebody breaks in, nice solid brick to smash their fucking skull in with because it's heavy. It is hollow, but it's heavy, man. I made it real thick because I didn't want none of my shit breaking. All right. Now for the really cool thing that I found at Hastings of all places today. Hence, uh, I don't know about any of the other Hastings stores. And I don't know if they're just a store that's only in Arizona or if they're elsewhere. I have no idea. This is the only place I've ever lived that had one, but uh, my store in particular will sometimes keep their old stock or it gets lost in the storeroom and set out later. Hence, this goes back to 2010. And I would have bought it back then, but they were wanting like 30 fucking dollars for it. No, it's really cool, but no, not for that price. But uh, they had it for 15 bucks and they had a couple others but the other two definitely showed that they've been around for a while. As they've been tried on a lot to where it had tears in it. And this one happens to be mint. So, lucked out. Found myself Iron Maiden mask. Which I'm going to have to put something in it to keep it all formed out. Anyways, it's Eddie from the album Peace of Mind. And this one's made by NECA. You can find other ones. There's some out there that look even better than this. As, uh, NECA does good stuff on the detail. They try their damnedest to make it look like it should. And then I've seen other ones that just look like shit. And some out there to where they don't even say it's Iron Maiden. It's just they're calling it something else because they don't have Iron Maiden's copyright. Hence NECA makes a lot of stuff for Iron Maiden. Like my <laughs> big size Eddie, 18 inch Eddie, which that's something that they brought out again, man. I thought I was screwed and they brought some out <laughs> a couple years later. So never know with that store. Sometimes I can do good, but most of the times, hence 30 bucks when this came out, they want top dollar or more. I'll shake the back. I did want to put this on in <laughs> some events. I wanted to be wearing this while I did the damn video. But unfortunately, my head's really fucking fat. And I'm not about to try slipping this over and stretching it. It's, that is guaranteed to split out. So I want to keep it all nice and preserved. So I'll have it for years to come. More just as a display piece. So once the other ones sell, if they sell or if they get trashed, I'll never see it again. Uh, 
All right. Now from Iron Maiden and Christmas Turds to alcoholism. This is something for anybody out there that's seen the Crystal Head Skull Decanters for Crystal Head Vodka and <laughs> really want the decanter, but they don't want to spend the price they want for that damn stuff. Is it's expensive vodka? Anyways, uh, I found this at Ross, and I'm not gonna guarantee that you guys, if you have a Ross, will find it. Also, is it's one of those stores to where it's uh, kind of like overstock, to where they get different stuff in all the time store closeouts and whatnot so it would have to be if they shipped them to more than just my store as all I found was a couple of them so I definitely grabbed one because it was $7.99 compared to uh, 50 bucks on sale at Walgreens in their liquor department for the Crystal Head Vodka Skull Decanter and a couple of shot glasses that was the fucking sale price is 50 bucks I didn't even bother to ask on what the original price is Anyways, this is, I guess the company's just called Spike and Rivet. I can't find anything on here that says otherwise. And really cool box. And so I'm just keeping it in the box sitting on the shelf. I don't know if I'll ever use it. It's just cool. But I definitely like their box. Nice winged skull there. And they call it a brain bucket liquor decanter back of it here where it says loud pipes at full throttle American rebel denim and leather rock and roll spike and rivet it's made out of heavyweight glass holds 14 ounces and it does have a cork stopper that's the only thing I don't like about it it's not the cork part it's the way they did the stopper it's too damn short to where you gotta literally dig into it with your fingernails to get it out of the thing but I'm pretty sure you could use one off of a, a wine bottle. I don't see why that wouldn't fit, even if you had to just taper it down a little bit. So you want us to take it out of here. The only thing I don't know on the crystal head ones is how they mold them. I don't know if there's any seams in the glass or not. Because this one does have a seam to where it was two halves of the mold. And like everything, it's made in one of those Chinese countries, you know, California. Otherwise, really cool, man. <laughs> I say that a lot, but I can't rip on them anymore because uh, this is made in America and then about 30% made by me as we can't make shit good either. I had to flip this fucking thing over and put metal bracing all over. It's like it was made by a blind, retarded child with a staple gun just all over the place all over the place that wasn't the place that was supposed to be hit with a fucking staple man or shit to where it wasn't even stable together so can't just blame them for everything but they did good on this and hence I'm holding it in the palm of my hand that's definitely smaller the crystal head one was bigger but big diff on price I'd say this would probably hold about as much as you'd have in a decent size flask. You know, the kind of flask you take to you on the construction job, man, because, you know, you always got to have your flask while you're doing construction work, especially up in the high rises. So, or any other kind of job, like the medical field or whatever. And so it is a skull. I mean, shit. So. Uh, See on the stopper there. <laughs> like I say, you gotta grab with your fingernails to pull it out of there. Which I know if this had any liquid in it where that swelled up, man, I'd have to probably use a damn corkscrew to get that out. But say then I don't see why you can use the stopper off of a wine bottle. So you got more of a grip. That is one thing I noticed on the crystal head one. It's wider. And I don't know if it just outright screws on, like if it's got like a plastic lid that screws on, or if it's just a, a really thick cork with a plastic cap to it. I couldn't tell because it was in a gift box when I saw it. Wise man. Check out Ross. You guys never know, man. I didn't get it that long ago, so. 
But they sent them to all the stores, and they still have them. But if you're in a big city, man, power to you. You may have a better chance, because I'm in a small city. We don't have that many places to shop during Christmas, so our stores just get raided. So I was lucky to find one. So, hope you guys had a good Christmas and not a shitty Christmas. See you the next time I do a vid. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be fairly soon and not off into the far future when we're flying around on hovercats and stuff. Hence, I haven't been able to find much lately. Later.